Hello everybody, and welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie here on Color Quarry's channel. So, we have cleared the first six worlds of the game now. We just beat Gobi's Valley and we even went back to Free Season Peak and finished that up too, so now we've got to find out where to enter the seventh world from. So that means going deeper. Oh wait, wait, wait no, we're going, we're going to the cauldron. We have the shortcut now. Whee! Actually, quite a bit of stuff we can do now, but I like following the game in the path it's laid out for us, and we're gonna go to. We're gonna go to we're, actually, no, we have to go to World 7 next. We could have done Gobi's Valley before Freeze Easy Peak, but at this point, we actually do have to do World 7. Which is fine, because I, I really like World 7. One of my favorite worlds. So there's a note door up here, 450. We have more than enough to beat with that. Let's go deeper. This is a giant ice cavern area filled with water. And there's an evil pipe down here. Let's swim through it because we can't do anything else in this room. Man, Grunty's layer is just enormous. I see that. Bumbo token. Hey, Bumbo, Bumbo. So this is like a giant cavernous room. We can see another cauldron up there. It appears to be like a port. But we can't do anything in here for now. Um, hi. Don't hurt me. Oh, well, there's another tunnel down here we can take. Grunty admits she's a hog. I really need a big hot dog. You already said that. Grunty's literally just in her lair, like in the machine waiting for it, like her plan to come to fruition, just like, oh wait, before I do that, let's talk banjo some more. a tower up here. Oh hey, it's an entrance portrait. And there's a, a one-up that phases in and out of existence, depending on where we look at it from. Anyhow, we've got a little tower to climb here. Go in here. Now we've kind of got to do the series of jumps where we jump and then hover back into the next uh, tunnel. Got to do that a few times, and then, yes! Here we are. Remember that creepy old hut? That's World 7, Mad Monster Mansion. I really like the spooky worlds, and this is a good one. Now before we leave, I think there's more- yep. Hey, remember the whiplashes from Planker's Cavern? Ouch. You can shoot some eggs into them and destroy them. Looks like Banjo's out of places to go. We can't even reach that one up yet. In fact, most of the places in these new areas we can't reach until after we clear World 7, which is interesting. But it actually does force you to go to World 7 in order to go further into the lair, which is kind of interesting. Normally it's just like, oh, we'll put a note door there. And if you're really good at collecting the notes, then maybe you can get in early. Nope, not so here. We gotta go back to that graveyard, don't we? <laughs> oh, apparently that was fall height. That was splat height. Whoops. Anyhow, back to the graveyard. I do not want to fall off a cliff into the lava, so... Woo! 
One thing we want to do before entering Mad Monster Mansion, though. I could have done this earlier, but I wanted to keep it fresh in people's minds. There is a gate over here. Well, we can actually open this gate. By rat a tat wrapping it in. Down here, this leads to another creepy hut. However, we can't break open the door. This stupid quest, you should stop! You won't get to me at the top! I've already heard that before, Grunty. You need new lines. A good one. Anyhow. Nothing we can do over here, but we do want to bust open the door. You'll thank me later. Into Mad Monster Mansion. I love this world. No new moves, though. We have all the moves. Well, there's just four notes right off the bat. That's pretty nice. We can't leave, though. And as always, Greg Kirkhope, Greg Kirkhope did an amazing job composing the music for this world. These two guests are rather dumb. Let's make sure they're unwelcome. <laughs> this is interesting. It's like a dining room area with a ghost sleeping. Nice chandelier. Who woke Napper while he's sleeping? I can hear someone down there creeping. <laughs> Yeah, we stepped on a plank and it made a squeaky sound, so he heard us. Give me that jiggy. My golden prize you may not take. Not while old Napper's awake. Alright, so we got some interesting pictures on the wall. There's Grunty, uh dark for me to see what this one is. Oh, I should grab the notes as well. I think that's supposed to be either Mad Monster Mansion or Grunty's Lair. We've also got Brentilda. Oh, that's Grunty's Lair over there. And we've also got the broomstick and a rather creepy picture of Mumbo right here. Interpret that as you will. And then we've got a Clungo as well. Alright, well, let's leave. You can see we're not welcome, so let's leave. Alright. Anytime you see a yellow window, rat a tat rapid, you can bust it open. This is a different room. Got these skeletons here. If we hit them, they'll fall apart, but then they eventually come back to life. And you heard that sound. Guess who's back? But this time they're skeletons. I can kill them the exact same way. <laughs> you better not destroy my portrait! Okay, we won't hide in your there's not much in here, but it's always good to explore and adapt. These bats are enemies as well, by the way. Hmm. Well, not much else we can go over here. Got the gutter over there. Ooh, another window. I love the bassoon. The bassoon is one of my favorite instruments. It's used marvelously in the survival world. That's interesting. That pirate there, he was actually going to be, I believe, the antagonist for what Banjo was originally going to be, which is Project Dream. So that's a nice little Easter egg homage. 
and he's gonna appear, his image at least will appear in this world several times. Wine cellar over here. Wine cellar over here, you... <laughs> Banjo is being arrested for vandalism charges. He just f goes his way to an old man- makes his way to an old mansion and then breaks everything. Way to go, Banjo. That is a ghost. There's only one way to defeat the ghosts, and that is with Wonderwing and Vulnerability. Anyhow, there are all of these wine bags here. We can rat a tat wrap them open. That one had eggs. That one had nothing. That one had wine. <laughs> we can't open that one for some reason. Gold leather. Hey, pink ginger. Nothing in there either. <laughs> these wine cakes are worthless. All they have is wine in them. But that one has a key. Good. Don't miss these notes. And I think that's everything in the wine cellar. Cool. What kind of a person just goes to someone else's, like, creepy old mansion and just starts breaking everything and stealing all the valuables? A terrible person. Banjo, that's you. Notes down here. And this is the church. We get more eerie music here. There are these flower vases here. Let's give it an egg. Thank you. These are gravestones. You can either roll into them three times or ride a tie rapid twice, and they're gone. And also, this is Grant Kirkhope himself who says. Grant Kirkhope himself who says. Come on! Thank you. <laughs> That's Grant Kirkhope, the composer, saying, Thank you. And apparently he had to re-record his lines several times because Nintendo kept thinking he was saying a naughty word. Okay, it is not that difficult. Come on. Thank you. Nope, that's the wrong button. Come on! Wow, I have never been this bad at growing the flowers before. Thank you. Alright, please. Okay, that should have gone. Right. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. At last, you got us all. Also, there's a Banjo-Kazooie stained glass window here. And there's a little secret. If you can go up to it, you can pass right through it. This is a room with a whole lot of stuff. I love the stained glass window effect in this room. It's so good. Just a lot of feathers and eggs in that room. A nice little recharge station. We're gonna destroy that gate as well. Welcome to the hedge maze. There's a giant hedge maze in the middle of this level, and we will be coming here multiple times. These ghosts are really annoying, because they can phase through the hedges! And you've only got 10 gold feathers to deal with them. Hey, Orange Ginger. One of the reasons I really like Rareware games, especially on the N64 generation, they use great new instruments like bassoons. Not a whole lot of video games use bassoons in their songs. 
which is a real shame. It has such a nice sound to it. Do not waste your gold feathers in this world, though, because you will need them for later uh, endeavors. Alright, nothing else we can really do in that hedge maze. However, what we can do is we can climb the church. If we get on this gravestone and rat a ta talon trot up here. Because these rooms will make us slide down. Oh, that was good camera. And we token here, and we can enter into the clock, and it takes us to the top. Very careful because if we fall from this high of a height, we are probably going to die. Alright, we got all the notes, now we're gonna shock jump up to the top. And we got another jiggy. Let's do our special. Yeah! No splat height. everywhere on this level, aren't they? Aren't they? Well, these ones actually have roses on them, which is kind of cool. Okay, this can be a little tricky. What we have to do is shock jump disc onto the roof and then immediately tell on drop before we start sliding down so we can get all the stuff up here. Also, don't hit the roses, because they will hurt you. Those lovely thorns, how they've grown! Music to my ears as you moan! Yeah, watch out for the roses on the hedges. They do hurt you. Welcome to the greenhouse. Which has this beautiful stained glass flooring of us. Grunty apparently is obsessed with us. So let's grab these four notes. And then, remember the treasure trove cove sun ca sandcastle? Greetings, oh solid one. I'm Tumblr the Mighty. Solve the puzzle, and you can take this infernal thing that's stuck under me. So yeah, uh, similar to the sandcastle in Treasure Trove Cove, we're gonna have to spell Banjo-Kazooie, but we have to do it while riding this. And it gets really annoying because there's an invincible ghost that's just constantly moving around the room, so we can actually die in this room. Yep, right there. B, A, that's a Z, not an N, by the way. <laughs> And where's that J? Banjo. Ouch. Yeah, whichever way Grunty is facing, that's the way you have to read the letters. So this is a Z, not an N. Oh man. At last, the puzzle is solved. Take this thing, I'm leaving this gloomy shed. Oh. Man, Kazooie's gotta be having a terrible stomachache at this point. How many jiggies has she eaten? Like, a whole lot. 